Hey guys, this is Martin for TechLog Pool, and today we're going to try to fix an Apple Watch. This is the original Apple Watch that has a swollen battery, as you can see here. Uh, the battery has swollen and it pushed the display out. Here we have the iFixit replacement kit, and together we're going to try to replace it. Um, when the battery gets swollen with time, as it ages, uh, bad things can happen. You know all the Samsung case where the phones would just burst into flames? Well, with the Apple Watch, it just pushes the display out. So that's a sort of a less uh, severe case. Um, this has happened to me once already. Uh, with Apple Care, they replaced it, but now my watch is a little old and it doesn't have Apple Care anymore. And the cost of replacement is basically the same as buying a new watch. I'm gonna follow the iFixit uh, guide, uh, so you can, uh, if if uh, ever you need to fix this kind of a problem, you can follow the guide yourself and read while you watch this video, perhaps. So, uh, before we start with the repairs, um, I took it off of the charger, so you can see it's it's charged, it works fine. Um, it's, let's take a look at what tools we have here. So there's some tweezers. Right. And we have uh, the glue uh, that we're gonna, uh, the adhesive that we're going to use to attach the screen again. Here's the battery. And then we have a couple of these opening tools. These are gonna come in really handy. And this is a set of five. Uh, they only had a set of five, so this is what they look like. Okay. So let's put everything that we don't need aside. I'll keep the glue over here with the battery. All right, and we can continue. So first they say that uh, we should um, unstick this, but since it, it already uh, it already is sort of open, I think it's going to pry open very, very easily. Okay, so now we're going to pry the screen open. So, um, actually, I think it's coming on its own. So I didn't break anything, but I think it's just the glue. Yeah, it's just the glue. Uh huh. So here we can see the connector. Oh, uh, maybe you can see it. I hope you can see it. There you go. There's the connecting cable. Okay, let's go through this tutorial a little farther. Okay, so I'm lifting the screen like this, and here you can see the cable. There you go. They say we should put it on an elevated surface. Um, a small box. So let me take a little small box. Here is a small box, just like this, with the crown. Oh, with a crown on this side and the glass like that. There we go. Yes. So we have it on the side and now we need to pry the battery out. Okay, I'm just going to Go ahead and pry the battery out. Just 
slowly but steadily. I can hear how the battery is coming off loose. I'm not sure if we were supposed to turn the Apple Watch off. Perhaps we were. Okay. Let me turn it off. Oh, is that not my passcode? Hmm. Shit. Okay, I guess it is. No, that's Siri. Shit. Okay, let's power them off. Once again, I'm slowly prying the battery out. Very slowly. Here we have the battery, and let's see how this works. They say, rotate the battery counterclockwise. Is this it? To expose its connector, okay. I have the connector exposed. And now they say, hold the battery up and out of the way. Okay, it's up and out of the way. Not that I can really see a whole lot, but fine. Uh, use a plastic opening tool. So let's use this plastic opening tool. I'm gonna pry this out. Ha! And I think we got it. So now the battery is successfully detached. Here you can see the connector. And here is the Apple Watch without a battery. Yay. Oh, okay, now we have to detach the screen. Put it like this. Uh -huh. And now we have to pry this connector out. like this, so you can see better. Let's pry this connector out. Oh. Okay. Got it, finally. Oof, that was some hard work. Okay. So, now that this is exposed, what now? Okay, now we can see both uh, connectors there. And we need to pry both out, one after another. So, first one, like this. Second one, like that. Come. Ha. Got it. So now the display is successfully disconnected from the Apple Watch. I'll just put it over there. Okay, so now we're going to scrape off any adhesive that's left there. I haven't seen any adhesive, honestly. By the way, here you can see how inflated the battery is. It has gone bad. Severely bad. Mm -hmm. I 
think this is it. Ah, there it is. Starting to peel off very slowly. But surely. Oh my god, these tweezers. I hate them already. They don't actually work well at all. Uh-huh. There we go. There you are. Adhesive. One bit left over here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So here we have the adhesive. We can throw that away. Now, let's take our new adhesive, which is over here. Okay, so first we have to... There we go. shape okay I wonder what this is for okay maybe it's for peeling it off I guess Maybe. Who knows? Is this where the button should go? I guess, maybe. Okay, so this is there, I guess. Okay. So now we take this screen and we reattach the connectors. Ha! One connector to go. Seems like both are connected. Yay. Okay, so both are connected. This was not easy, but they are, finally. Okay, now let's put this little, what was it? Mm -hmm. Here we are. 
little thingy back. Ha, flush in place. Amazing. Okay, now we have to put the new battery in. So, now we twist it like that. And... Let's open the battery. Battery calibration. For optimal performance, calibrate your newly installed battery. Drain battery to below 10%, then charge uninterruptedly to 100. Will do. All right. So, the connector's over here. Let's put it on stand again. now in place. All right, so this was a little bit of a hassle, but finally the glue is there on the rim with all of the thingy removed. And now we're almost at the finish line. So we move the screen back to the, to the right, folding the display data digitizer cables correctly. There we go. And now we place the screen perfectly back in place. Oh, there we go. We press it firmly into the adhesive on the sides. And now, let's try to power up the Apple Watch and test it out. And it's not working. <laughs> 